So we have a three by three grid. Mm -hmm. We color it into colors, blue and red. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the probability? The probability that we are looking for that there is probability of oh, there's no two by two square. There is no two by two square. Right. 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 So my first take is I okay. I want to give a try. I want to randomly do some squares. Right. See, I start to realize this is quite difficult. Is it's very hard to make sure there's no red square. <laughs> and in right? general, it's a negation. So probability that there is no particular structure uh -huh. makes you to think what's the probability there is such structure. Right. Like you said, it might be easier to think about that there is a square. Because of what? For example, if I at the beginning, I look at it, there's no red square. I will say, okay, I can place well, red and blue, two choices. Red and blue, two choices. Red and blue, two choices. It's so hard to what to do to control to control the kind of situation. Yes. It's much easier. I want to ask myself to say what? Okay, I want to have a what? A red right. square. So right. instead, we will find the complement. Mm -hmm. We will find probability that there is. You can write a, a red square. at least, right? At least. Right? And the answer will be one minus that. And our job is to find this guy. Right? Okay. Yes. Well, we have four squares. Um, one here that I depicted. One can be here, one can be here, and one can be here. You can draw them. It's not that difficult. Just draw a small circle around here. You have, you have a square here. That's S1. Yes. And S2. Uh, this is S3. Which is in. So I'm looking for a probability that, that the red square exists. Yeah. So the first question for you guys, how many colorings, colorings are there uh, for which S1 square is red. Before that, you can even ask an even easier question: How many colorings are there, right? And um, so well, before that, yeah, how many colorings are there? Because that's your sample space, right? Yeah. So the two questions. Right. Yeah. Yes. How many elements in the sample space? And how many elements in this event? So this is very easy. This is 2 to the ninth power. Right? Right. And this is also not too hard because uh, if S1 is all red, mm -hmm. I have only 5 squares left. Right. So 2 to the 5. 2 to the 5. Right? And uh, a similar kind of question you can impose is instead of S1, you say how about S2? Right? Right. The answer will be the same. The same. S3? The same. S4? The same. So, so any SR. So here we can write just big I, mm -hmm. where I can be 1, 2, 3, or 4. Or 4. Right? So, this touches the core thing about this inclusion exclusion principle is because now SI is red does not what interfere with what S2 can be red also. So basically this situation you are overcounted. What I mean is you cannot say the answer is 2 to the fifths plus 2 to the fifths plus 2 to the fifths, plus 2 to the fifths, over 2 to the ninth. Yes, these events, or this is not... Square 1 depends on square 2, and right. square 2 depends on square 1, because they have intersection right. here as squares. Right, but they are not exclusive to each other. 
right? Yes. So you cannot say S1 is red, you know, is very different from S2 is red. So, so we have much less distributions than this. Yes. Right? What do I mean is, for example, this situation and over here, how many ways? If I only want these two rows are red, and here, there are two, 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 two the three. three. And this many distributions are basically counted in what? In both events now. Yes, they have both squares red. It counted as S1 is red, and also counted as what? S2 is red. So we overcount a lot of them, right? So this is the idea about inclusion and exclusion. We include everything, but now we have to what? Take out what? The things we overcome, right? Okay. And here, uh, again, we will, what do we need to take out? Mm -hmm. We need, the first thing that we can take out when two of them are at the same time. Red. Exactly, we have to take out these guys. Yes. Right? And okay. maybe some other guys. Yeah, yeah maybe two. Right? So, may, if you guys understand this, can you find out what do we should take out in the next step and how many colorings we should take out actually? Yes.